believe it, man. Now that's heavy. <laughs> Me neither. Really? He can't even break character now. When did Becky stop He still has to be a cool guy. I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was, she was totally depressed about something. Totally. Quint called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hon. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. Uh-huh. That's it. Eee. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. Oh. They said they were going to visit Greenvale Forest Park today. They were going to take Willie for a walk, that dog of his. Kaysen? Do you know him well? Oh yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him. Yeah, he's so right. I love the way this like, oh, dude. I really you such know, a bummer. Little quality the, time fucking look at him! Is fucking hell. He's just like, oh man, this is such a bummer. Oh, this all this all sucks. And he's like, yeah, man. I'll go and look for the Fucking myself. sick. This is awesome. I mean, oh no, it's such a bummer. No, sure, I mean, of course. Yeah. I'll contact the department. Where is it? Where? Huh? Sally Graham. What do you want? Where could it be? Her dress. Oh, Sally. Sally. <laughs> you see? Fucking. She's acting up Keith again. Fucking smile in the background, like just like, ah. Oh. That, that fucking crazy bitch. What is that? Oh, she she wants a smile on my face. Got no idea. But I guess she's in, like, you know, shock or something. The way I look at it, her daughter's death hasn't really sunk in the right way. Uh -huh. Totally, man. I feel sorry for her. Come on, let's go. I'll laugh if Keith goes Lily, home. Have you seen Anna's dress, dear? And I says to Lily, it's just like. Oh, that voice, man, really hurts my throat. I don't know why I do it, and the wife's just like, You don't have to. Everyone will love you for who you are. And he's like, Nah, man. I feel I've done it for like 12 years now. Everybody knows me like that. I feel like people would treat me differently if I don't speak like that when I'm, when I'm at the shop. And she's like, Oh, whatever makes you happy, I guess, dear. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen. We just left. Sounds like a long story. A child Any with a very fat, looking? disgusting looking Lily man. Told me they went. No problem. Who nobody actually knows anything about whenever we ask them, except that he's a nice guy, I guess. He's a he's a fucking sapling salesman. But nobody really knows knows what that means. He still except that he sells something. Sapling salesman who sells something. And today, we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. <laughs> what the Zach, are you talking well about? We have fun if we're getting lost. What? You sure know how to take your time in a time like this. Hey, yes. I'm wasting time in a murder investigation. It's so confusing that there's two fucking things now because I accidentally... I don't know how to unmark that on the map. Anyway, let's see where I have to go, and I'll see you guys in a minute when we get there. Alright. Agent North, I see a man about Isaac his willy. Isaiah. They're over there. Let's go. Hello again, Isaac and Isaiah. I hear you're teaching Willy to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. You just... Really simple. Yeah? If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. A cookie. I see. 
very good. That's, like, really bad for dogs, so, though. You shouldn't me, give chocolate to dogs, guys. Still need special secret, no, no. We can't. <laughs> it won't be a secret if we tell. Oh shit, that's true, uh, actually. I'm not telling. We promised Becky. No, that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. Promise to catch the bad man. Why is the music so fucking loud this time? I promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? Mm, yes, it would seem. Perhaps we should put him to the test. He should make and eat a mud pie, or something stupid like that, yes. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She uh -huh. handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. So does she have both of those things? Was this really just a fetch quest? And then you met Carol on your way? Yep. I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her oh, that shit, we were she on talked errand to for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no. Because Becky asked us, not her. Yeah, we promised bitch. Becky to do it ourselves. You're like, what the fuck are these kids talking about, man? So Becky did entrust the locket to them. Uh-huh. And now Carol has it. Right, Kason? Huh? Where? You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but but I was only... Did you guys hear the dog in the Diane. background? Oh, then Carol burst in. What are they doing to that dog? While Carol and Diane <laughs> have their talk... What's that noise? Rock. Yeah, so Carol <laughs> took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do what? with me, right? I, I'm so, so distracted. Yeah, no. Yes, I believe so. Oh my god, what but the hell is going instant, on? You are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. Oh my god, what? the dog. Can you do that? Of course I can. This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. How? Which makes you... Humpty Dumpty. Oof. Huh? And I will crack you. Isaac and Isaiah. Thank oh my you. god, the dog's just I think going I'll crazy there. With Becky, Jesus you. Christ. How is Becky? Is she getting better? Oh, the noise. She'll come and help out at our so store again, won't she? She'll come mm. and play with us again, won't she? Mm. Boys, about Becky. Uh, that's right. Um... Becky is almost totally better now, but I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told Jesus by Christ. Becky to keep this a secret, but she's actually a goddess of the forest, just like Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. Cool. We'll keep oh. this a secret with them, too. Wow. That's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. Okay, okay, Willie. Yeah, Willie, Jesus, You're just stop, please, too, making you? those noises. Please. Zach, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess, too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, that noise. It's actually giving me a headache a little bit. Okay, then, Zach. Is it, really? Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. Okay. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Mm -hmm. Nick confirmed this, and so she had an alibi. Mm -hmm. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. What, that they're having an affair, basically? According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was, Zach? The art gallery. Is there a motel? No, the diner, the clock. Yeah, they went to the clock. They went to see the clock, obviously. Why the fuck would they go That's there? Right. The art gallery. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Uh-huh. Nick's behavior is also What's this got to do with the case? If 
Olivia is correct, then he is heavily involved in this case. How? By what means? No, conclusive evidence of that no, exactly! There's no conclusive evidence of anything! The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. There's no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. Exactly! So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Quint. It's fucking Quint. A boyfriend. That's right. It was Quint. Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. That sucks. Now, about Becky's murder. I'm embarrassed and mortified. Why? The killer struck again while we were on the case. Yeah, because George was a I dumb fucking idiot. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out of the blood. And an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. Uh-huh. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. Yep, that's literally all we know. He's a serial we killer, I guess. One other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? No. I actually don't remember. What was it? Oh, the, the, the sketchbook. Okay. That's right. We found a sketchbook in Becky's Wait, room. it's a sketchbook? Then why the fuck is she writing she in it then? She a letter to her sister Diane. Oh, who cares? It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. Uh-huh. So Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. I guess you could say the loose ends are all tied up then, there was unfortunately for you. the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto here. Why does that matter? Do you remember who, Zach? It was the fucking twins, but why is that fucking important? Look, casing on the end there, just like, Ew. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. Well, they're sisters, so of course they fucking For some did. Reason, Carol wanted the locket. Fuck she knows. ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Kaysen just happened to be there. Uh huh. Is Kaysen involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? Who fucking knows at this point, man? Like, I wonder you don't so know anything. About the locket, Who fucking knows? Why did Carol want it How so far into the game? I'm in like chapter like two or three of this game, and I haven't got a fucking clue what's going on still, except that there's a murderer and he's a serial killer now. The first and also the no fucking George is an dead. asshole. We and he's a dumb, records, bumbling this idiot. Definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? How? Who? What? One way. But you just said that we do Quint next? called Quint. Okay, who's the most suspicious? Who fucking knows? Are you gonna ask me? Um. Oh no, Nick's pretty suspicious, I guess. No, I don't think so. What? But he's certainly suspicious, but there is someone else at the center. Oh no, Diane then. That's like, it's an opinion! Becky's sister. It's a fucking opinion on who I think is the most suspicious! What does it even fucking matter? Zack, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. <sighs> Alright, whatever game. I'll just do as I'm fucking told, I guess. No, he's, he's certainly suspicious, so yes. So you are right, you but you're wrong Diane. also. That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. Why is your hand so shiny, man? First, we need more intel about the it's relationship like a fucking, between Nick like, and Diane. It's like a fucking, like, or some shit. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. Why? What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. Why? If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick, and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, 
you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Well, yeah, apparently you fucking work yes. there, so... Yes, I will. Because you were, like, behind the bar on the first scene, I'll be so... I'll the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22, 22 and 2300. Fucking hell. Then yeah. at that time we do it, boys and girls. Okay. This all just seems like a monumental fucking waste of time, if you ask me. I mean, they're not really, like, incriminated in anything at the moment. I don't really understand why they're specifically being targeted. I know that fucking neither of them really had anything interesting to say, but that doesn't necessarily make them suspicious just because they didn't have anything important to say. Zack, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. I guess... Fallen Goddess. Episode 2, Part 2. 12 Fallen Goddess. Sorry. What a weird fucking... Ugh, like... Mission denotation system. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll go to the fucking... GNA, see how they're doing. If it's even fucking open. Yeah, it is open. That's okay then. Fucking casing. Oh shit. Oh shit, one again. I'm just gonna take York's advice and see how these two are doing, I guess. See if they have anything interesting to say. Zach, is there something here that you want to check? You literally out? just you need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. We're free until then. Uh, okay. I'm gonna talk to them both and see if they have anything interesting to say. They probably won't. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. I mean, I'm the FBI. I can do what I can. Then perhaps yes, I can. you would give me your permission to enter. No, get the hell out of here. Ah, shit. Guess we're going then, guys. Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. What? But you just told me to come here! I don't understand! <sighs> Agent York, something you want? Let's just talk, I guess. I had a call from the sheriff. Becky was killed, right? When it came home, though, was no nothing had happened. Just like normal. That's what makes me even more scared. I feel like I'm on the verge of a nervous breakdown. <sighs> Did I learn anything, though? I didn't learn anything, did I? Nope. I learned fucking nothing. Sick. Nick, come over here so I'm allowed to talk to you. Please. So I learned nothing. Nothing happened and I learned nothing. Fucking great. Nick, come here and talk to me. No! Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, you... Uh, yeah, you tickle those fucking... Uh, whatever. I'm out of here. What a monumental waste of fucking time. Why didn't you even tell me to come here then? I don't get it. I'm gonna take this fucking coffee card. It's mine now. Thank you. Fuck, I guess I'll go and wait around outside of Carol's bar. Uh. Okay. So we're here now. I always open up the map instead of the thing that I actually want. The fucking pause menu. Let's eat some food. Stack me up a little bit. And then let's waste some fucking time smoking cigarettes. Let's smoke cigarettes for exactly two hours. Or is it an hour? I think it was said between 10 and 11 actually, so now might be good. Yeah, there we go. What? How? I wasn't even in a car, and that's the—that's not even the right car. 
Oh, who cares? Nick's still in the bar. Cool. Just as we planned them. I wonder what happens next. Agent, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. I have to admit, I envy the fact that you find it fucking entertaining, the people are getting murdered around us, and you have no idea what's going on, and you've made exactly zero breakthroughs this entire time. It's like, what are you talking about? We hung out outside of fucking... Okay. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Huh? Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Ma? Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. Copy that. So now we're gonna go up there. This entire investigation feels like it's just a monumental it's waste of time. Nick. Yeah, it is. Shit, what the fuck? He's a demon! You guys see that? Fucking evil. I saw it. Oh shit, it's Tom. Sorry to keep you waiting. Special Beam Cannon. Okay. I can't help I'm it every time I hear place, that phrase. Where my Dragon Ball nerds at? Do I have to like follow but not too close? Oh fucking hell, you are joking me. This is gonna be fun. But yeah, I just can't understand, guys, how, like, Agent York has, like, completely fucking done nothing the entire time. What have I done since I got here? Like, what have I actually solved? We know that the guy's the raincoat killer, but, like, we figure that out because the co other cops figure that out, so they didn't even need me here. And... That's literally about it. We know who everyone is, I guess. We know that, like, Nick and Diane have this weird, like, not affair going on. Where they just talk about paintings, I guess, and hang out at the art gallery. And then there's the whole business with, um... Uh, well, that's really it. I mean, I've done, like, this is chapter two of the game. Or, like, the 13th... I don't fucking know. Whatever the missions work out as. And we've learnt nothing, except that there's a raincoat killer, and he's murdered two people now, including the one time where we waited outside of the fucking restaurant for like 10 hours, and gave him plenty of time and opportunity to plan out Becky's murder. So, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I literally do not even fucking know. <sighs> anyway, this is getting pretty boring, so I guess I'll just skip ahead to the part where, you know, we all turn up to the fucking art gallery. I'm literally so fucking angry at the fact that this car in front of Nick is causing him to just randomly slow down and speed up. I've probably been sat here now for five fucking minutes, maybe longer, just waiting for him, this car in front of Nick, to turn off so that I can take, like, actually put my fucking foot down. I've been stuck on that 30 mile an hour and going this fast pretty much the entire time that you've been gone. This is like actual fucking hell. Just take over him! Please! Oh, fucking hell. No! Why does this car insist on slowing Nick down? Fucking hell! Oh, it's actually getting to a point where I'm just like consistently tapping and trying to keep it at 30 miles an hour, like. For entertainment because I'm so fucking bored of this section. Ten minutes now I've been doing this. Ten fucking minutes. Oh, thank God. 
Please tell me that that's as far as I have to take it. Oh, good. Jesus Christ. Whoa! What the fuck? What is happening? We'd all have halos by now if I was driving. What the fuck? I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. Hmm. Interesting. Why is he hey, smiling dude, like that? It's getting away. Don't worry, time to get serious. Hold on, you two. This might get bumpy. Ah, shit. Wait, do I have to? No, please, no, please. I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep carrying on. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God. What the fuck is he doing? Is Nick here? George. No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No. No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. No, nothing! But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Are you fucking serious? York's just like, you drank on the job? What the- isn't that like, against protocol? Surely you can never drink whilst you're on the job. Oh, dude, do you see how scary this is now? Because the fucking owl that won't shut up? Zach. Owl. Nick and Diane are probably both Shut up! Inside. Please! It's you're, actually giving me a headache. You're sure you didn't see Nick? Oh, thank Positive. fuck it's gone. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Well, if you left out the back door, then... I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. Well, I'll go look for one. Help me out if you can, would you? What are you doing? They're just like, what is he doing? Why is he paying the door? What? What were you? <sighs> that, what? What did I do? I didn't fucking do anything. God fucking damn it! Oh, there goes Thomas. Oh, jeez, I wonder where I have to go. Ooh, Agent Honor. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, it's a shed. Okay, fair enough, it's a shed. I don't know what I'm talking about, gay gays? Yeah, gays. Uh, guys, sorry. <laughs> gays? What am I talking about? Oh, shit. Karen! Why do you keep showing up everywhere that I go? Jesus Christ. Right, so that's closed. I'm not allowed in this way. Good thing it's back here where nobody else can see it. Amazing. Uh, can't go that way. What about back this way then? Was it locked? How? Is there a lock I can break on it? No. Wait, what the fuck? How did you do this? Oh man. What the fuck is this texture? What the fuck is. Is that supposed to be a bush? Oh, who fucking knows? Who cares? Oh shit, onions. Yeah, I'll take those. Why the fuck have I got onions? Why have I got one onion? Why didn't I pick up the whole bunch? Oh, who knows? Who cares? Come on then, guys. We need to find a way in. I can't get around that. Ah. Wait. Why can I? It, oh, it doesn't even say I can observe it. Who fucking cares? Amazing. 
they shot. Great. Amazing. Great. Yes. Yes. Amazing. They shot. Great. Oh my fucking god. Great. 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 <laughs> Fuck's sake. This game. back here other than the scout no what is this scout it is Nick Cormac he left his card piss off Great. Jesus can I go this way Hey, what? Wait, what? How is. But this is like a separate building! What difference is this gonna make? There's a flare on the table there, too. There's no water in there. Why are you splashing? How are you splashing? What Emily, the? Emily, I want you guys to wait out here. I know. I'm <sighs> not going to fight you about this anymore. Good. But promise me this: if there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? Well, yeah, that's all the point, really. Yeah, there is backup. You what the fuck? You might think so, but we're a team. You guys see that this tie just? What the? What's happening? Team. What That's the fuck? what I but think, the, at least. Uh, and uh, oh my god, this game! I, every time, I every episode, I just there has to be something. There has to be fucking something, doesn't there? Every single time. Well, I guess I'm going there, guys. Yeah, I can't just grab around that and just climb back up. Shut up, vines. Whatever. Zach, did you hear that? Yep. She wants to know more about you. Who? What? Isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. Great. Fantastic. Oh, whatever, man. 